Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick recap of last week of the first weekly inspirational topic, which was smiling. I did hashtag mission smile. My people of the week were Ethan Hethcote and Mark Miller. I both I got favorites from both of them. And it was probably, I fangirled pretty hard over that. Going out to the town, I thought it was gonna be super awkward giving you guys the money and just going up to complete strangers and saying, hey, here's some money. I want you to go out and do something positive with it. A lot of you guys gave me a lot of really weird looks, but a lot of you guys were really awesome about it. Some of you guys even refused to take the money, which I thought was even cooler. You still want to take a picture. You still wanted to go to the website and take the pledge. And that's, that's really all I wanted. You guys are awesome. I mean, I don't know how else I can explain it. So thank you. Thank you for hashtag Mission Smile for giving me the opportunity to do this. And hopefully sometime in the future, I'll be able to do something like this again. But I don't necessarily know if it's going to have money involved, but we're going to do something else special to make sure we can make someone smile. This week's topic, I'm going to do something different. I wanted to do something that's a little bit more personal to me, that it's really been involved with my family for a very long time, and I really thought I could share this with you guys and let you know that you can go out and do whatever you want to do in the world. So that's why this week's weekly inspirational topic is education. Cue the theme music. I don't have any theme music yet. Someone get on that. Education has always been one of my big passions. I was going to go to school for it. I thought about going to, I wanted to be a teacher. Both my parents are teachers. They have their PhDs. They teach on the collegiate level. My brother is a teacher. I've always just really appreciated everything that's to go with education. But there are a few things that I don't really understand when it comes to the ed education process. A lot of people think about education and they think about you have to go to school. You have to pass all these exams. You have to take these these tests, you have to study, you have to spend loads of money if you're in college or at a university. And I really don't like that concept when it comes to education because there are so many different ways you can learn and so many different ways that you can go out and do great things in this world. Mark Zuckerberg, you have Oprah Winfrey. These people never went to college, yet they are doing things that... that I, how do you all explain it? There are a few things that come to education that are really important. Like those of you who are still in high school perhaps, you do take it seriously and you do try to gain all of the life skills that high school has to offer. They really teach you how to manage your time, they teach you how to work in groups, they teach you how to communicate with people, and all these skills, even if you don't plan on going on into university, are really, really good skills that you can go out and do whatever you want with. College for me was an opportunity to at least somewhat think about what I wanted to do in my life. I went and got my degree, I studied computer science, and I thought that was something I was going to do the rest, like I was going to spend the rest of my life doing, is sitting behind a computer, but then I realized that's not really something that I really want to do. My passions, I'm telling you guys, is going out and being a leader and inspiring other people. That's what I really want to do. The bottom line, guys, is you don't want to let exams kind of determine what you're going to do. Don't say, don't let people tell you you have to go to school to get a degree so you can get a good job. You can get a good job without going and getting a degree and spending loads of money. What you need to do is find something that you're passionate about. Find something that you're willing to go out and do whatever you can to make yourself better. When you finally find that passion, when you finally find that thing that just drives you, you have to understand that it's going to take time, it's going to take experience, it's going to take loads of things before you're able to just jump in. You're not going to become famous overnight, you're not going to become super popular, you're not going to make loads of money right off the bat. It's going to take a lot of hard work. Since education is so important to me, I really had to find someone that really understood what I thought about education and how I think it's really important that you should still pursue your dreams but still look at getting some type of education in any capacity that you think is really worthwhile. That's why this week's inspirational person of the week is Sully Briggs. Sully Briggs is a poet. He's an artist of sorts and he does a lot of spoken word videos here on YouTube and I'm gonna make sure I post all this information down below but he really had two videos that I thought were really inspirational to me and kind of talks about some of the things that I spoke about, but he does it in such an artistic way. He's so inspirational of all the things he does. He goes out and speaks to colleges, and he goes out and speaks to people like you and me that really want to follow their dreams. One of his first videos that I came across is why I hate school but love education. It goes into why he hates having to go to school to kind of try to prove yourself when there are so many other ways that you can do that. Another video that I thought super inspirational is I will not let an exam score determine my fate. 
that video really spoke to me in a way that, yeah, if you're in school and that's something you want to do, pursue your dreams, but if it's not, you shouldn't let an exam score determine the rest of your life. And my challenge for you this week is to really think about your goals, think about the way education affects you, and I want you to put that down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about education, if you really think school's super important, whether you think it's more important just to follow your dreams and not go down the traditional education route. I want to thank you guys for watching this week's video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up if you like it, and make sure you subscribe and you follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching this week's video, and I'll see you next week. Bye!